Welcome to day 25. Today we're going to need props. So have a blanket handy or a towel. And then if you have a yoga block, grab that. If not, you're just going to either have um, your blanket should work or the towel or maybe some firm pillows. And uh, we're going to start either with that block or you're going to fold up your other prop to be around the height of a block. And it really just depends as far as the height is concerned on, you know, kind of how much space you have, you know, when you take a bridge pose, really, because we're going to come into supported bridge right away. So make your way onto your back and have the prop next to you, bridge your hips up and then either slide that blanket or the block underneath you. So we're just going to hang out here and kind of move along the spine and let the body release over the support. So it's underneath the low back space here, right? Underneath, behind your pelvis, not in the curve. We'll get there, but not just yet. And you want to make sure the back of your head is just resting on the mat. It's a little curve to the neck here. Feet are on the mat. And maybe a little forward. And if this doesn't feel good on your low back, just take a support and lower it, right? Get a blanket if you're using a block, if the block is too high. Also, if you know that you have a little bit more space, lift up and make the, make the prop higher. So we're just going to hang out here for a few breaths, allowing our body to release over that support underneath you. You can just take your palms and rest them down along the side of your body. Take a moment to get grounded in your body. Let's close the eyes. Check in with your breathing. Check in with your body. Let's soften the space between and behind the eyes. Start to gaze into yourself. Look down into your heart center space. and open yourself to an intention for your practice today. Once you found your intention, get engaged in your deeper core. So connect in your center and we're gonna slowly start to walk one leg at a time straight. So this is where you're gonna kind of see if your support is too high. So just kind of slowly ease into it. And if it's just too intense in the front of the pelvis and then this little curve in your back, then lower that support. And if you can't straighten your legs completely, just have them a little further away from you with the feet on the mat. And we're just gonna let the legs soften and drop open, feeling the space being created across the front of the pelvis here, a little compression in the spine, if that's okay for you. Again, keep checking in with your body. Get to know what works and what doesn't. Get to understand the difference between pain, the signal to not do something, and discomfort, something that can kind of help you get to uh, the other side, if you will, right? So kind of just another part of the journey that's actually assisting you in growth. So checking in that the center is active, taking slow, deep inhales and exhales, even breath here. Checking in where you feel tension and just softening, surrendering into those spaces. So we'll take one more deep breath here. And then slowly, just one foot at a time, walk it back again. Keep that core connection. Bridge your hips up off of the support. Let's move the support out of the way. Draw your knees into your chest. Just kind of flip your hips up a little bit. Get a little stretch there. And then just rock yourself up to seated. And we're going to move on to a little higher spot along our spine. So take your towel or blanket. And have it start it with a fairly low 
lift roll. So you're just going to roll it up and have the extra, the tail of the blanket go towards your head. And you can start as low as just one fold. And we're going to put that across our lumbar spine, right? Towards the middle of the spine, above the pelvis, not in that sacrum area. And just kind of play with rolling it up, lying over it and seeing if it's okay for you to be there. As you can see, we're only there for around a minute, maybe a little bit longer. So get engaged in your center and kind of rock the back evenly across the support. And we're either just gonna tee our arms out or take cactus arms. Let's put the feet on the mat with the knees resting against each other, feet wide apart here. And just allow your body to kind of melt over the support. And just a note here about this particular spot, it may not feel like it's too much for you, but as we lie here, it could become more intense. So I wouldn't push it with the height on this one. So just take a few deep breaths, maybe breathing into the space where you feel that support across your back. So breathing into the back body and softening. And one more deep breath here. So let's take our feet together and we're just gonna kind of swing our hips over, roll gently off of that support, prop yourself up and we're gonna take it and it's gonna go across the shoulder blades now. So you might wanna make it a little bit higher. Maybe it's perfect where it is. I'm going to make mine a little bit higher because I know I can access that. And you're going to roll onto it across the shoulder blades. So spread your shoulder blades out, cactus the arms out, elbows are bent. If you can't bend your elbows, arms straight out to the side in a big T. So spread the shoulder blades out, same thing with the feet and the knees. Knees resting against each other. So if the head's dropping back pretty far here, place a pillow, a small, a low, folded up pillow or, I mean, a folded up blanket or pillow underneath the back of the head. You do want to have a little bit of opening here with, in this next space and obviously the chest, right? So just take a few deep breaths, maybe shimmy your feet a little forward if they're too far back. You don't want them back by your hips. And once again, just allow the space to be created, melting over that support. Breathing in and out through the nostrils, even breath, fluid breath. Finish out this breath and cycle through one more deep, complete breath. And once again, let's take the feet together, swing the hips to one side, roll the other way off of the support. We're going to prop ourselves up. And now this is where you're going to grab your block again, or you're going to take your other support and just fold it higher. How can I do this? We're going to work with this. You want to make it so it's a little firmer and the lift is a little bit bigger. And this is going to go again across the shoulder blades, but we're going to do something a little bit differently. So just wait one second before you roll down onto it. So I'm going to, so with the block, you can have it this way, right? It's going to be long ways and flat on the flat side, or you can have it one higher where you turn it sideways and it's on the side where it's a little bit 
or there's a little more lift there. I'm gonna use the block. You can use your blankets if you have. And we're gonna roll back, get deep, connect, deeply connected to your core right now as you start to roll back. Walk it back with the hands, find your shoulder blades, right? And we're just gonna have it below the shoulder blades. So go a little bit below the shoulder blades and then across the shoulder blades. And so there's this lift that's happening here in the front body. From here, let's keep the feet hips width and the feet on the mat a little bit in front of you. We're gonna take the hands, interlace them behind the head and just scoop the back of your neck right into the head. And you don't want the head to drop back here just yet. So what we're doing is we're just holding and supporting our head in a neutral position. So if you were sitting up right now, you would be, your spine would be stacked, right? Your head would be right in line, like right in the middle. So your head's not forward and it's not tilting back. And we're just kind of holding it here and lifting the chest. So let's get connected. Definitely find your deep core so you don't go too far into the lumbar curve either. So it's not poofing up in these front ribs. Hug into the center. And we're going to do really, it's kind of like thoracic crunches, right? So we're just going to lift ourselves up right where the block is, right? And then we're gonna drop ourselves back down. And as you can see, it's very small movements. The head is not tilting up or back. That's why we're supporting it here. Belly strong, and it's really just happening, the movement right where that support is. And drop back and feel that opening and then the contraction and the squeezing and lift up and drop back, keep the breath flowing and lift up and back we'll do a couple more like this and squeeze up towards the sky and allow the back to melt over the support last one and now this one we're going to let ourselves drop back but with control so you're not just going to let your head collapse right you're going to start to gaze back kind of pull the head away from the neck a little bit. You can scoop your thumbs under the base of the head there, right at the base of the skull and just kind of pull up and back. Gaze goes back and lift through the neck and the throat as well. So let the elbows drop back. Check that you've got core engagement here. Deep breath. And then we're going to Pull the chin in, so lift yourself up a little bit. Squeeze, 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 and then release the hands up and roll up. So let's move that block out of the way that whatever support it is out of the way. We're gonna go back onto our backs here. Ground through the feet and just take a quick bridge pose. So lift up. You just leave your arms at your side, rock your shoulders underneath you, and just press the pelvis up to the sky. Check that you're connected to your center. Push into the mat with those feet, lift the pelvis, and let's slowly drop it back down. Bring the knees into your chest. Let's just rock it back and forth, right to left. And then rock up and down vertically along our mats. And come up to seated. We're gonna sit with the right leg in front, left leg behind, rest your palms facing down on your knees, and we'll just gonna, we're just gonna roll through a few cats and cows seated. So we're going to roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up, gaze goes back slightly, chin in towards the collarbones, round it up, belly straight back, spread the spine, spread the back out, inhale, gaze back, exhale, round it out, couple more like this, and just kind of start feeling that mobility along the back body, the opening in the chest. And come back to neutral. We're going to crisscross the other way, left in front, right behind, even out the seat. And we're going to take the right arm across the front of the body, take a hold of your wrist with your opposite, with your left hand, and you're just going to pull your arm to the left. So I am mirroring you, even though I said I would not mirror you again. Habit. So pull across the body and feel how this spreads. So lift your torso tall and start to spin a little bit to the left and then pull the chin in and turn your gaze over to the right. And really feel that shoulder blade spreading. So make sure it's not up like this by your chin. So scoop it down and around. 
And let's come back to the center. Let's go the other way. Grab a hold of your wrist with the uh, right hand. So you're grabbing a hold of the left wrist. Drop the shoulder, spread it out, pull it away from you. Lift the torso nice and tall. Chin in, and we're going to look over to the left now. So we're turning to the right, and we're looking to the left. Good. Come back to center. Shoulder roll up and back. And let's make our way onto our hands and knees. I have not forgotten about your plank pose. So let's come into tabletop position. And yay that we get to step into plank once again. So let's come into our plank, our 90 second plank pose and get engaged throughout the body. So all 10 fingers spread wide, pushing into the mat, heart nice and open, elbows drawing back, squeeze into the armpits. Strong core, belly's lifted, those front ribs are drawing in, right? We've got activation in the middle of our body. Get the toes underneath you, all 10 toes, heels slightly pushing open, and those thighs are lifting the kneecaps. So the breath is flowing here. We're drawing our elbows back, gaze is slightly lifted. As always, if you need to, you come to your knees. If you need to take a deeper break, go into child's pose. This is actually, I've done this quite a few times today because uh, I normally do this class live first thing in the morning. And so it's my first plank of the day usually, but unfortunately the audio dropped in the middle of class. So I've been teaching all day. And I've done quite a few of these planks. So it's a little different for me right now. We're almost there. We've got a few more breaths. I feel you. That's all I'm going to say. I feel you. So one, let's see, let's take two more deep breaths. And press back into downward facing dog, up and back. Oh, doesn't that feel great? So push the hips back. Let's pedal our dogs out one knee at a time. Good, and come to the knees. We're gonna take our anahatas and our puppy dog pose. It's melting heart, anahata chakra, the heart chakra. So you reach way out in front of you, let the head come to the mat, let the chest drop. Hips are high here, so we're not sinking back into child's pose. And if this is too much on your back, pull your front ribs in, so scoop it in. Otherwise, let it drop. Take a couple breaths here. And now draw the front ribs in. Let's walk ourselves up, palms out in front of you. And we're gonna bring ourselves forward. So you might have to have your arms a little bit further away and then drop the pelvis and lift the feet up, start to drop back, gaze back, pelvis drops, feet lift up into our King Cobra pose here. Take a couple breaths, make sure your center is active even though we're going into this deeper back bend. And then scoop the belly in, come up. We're gonna come onto our knees, hands to the waist, and finish out our back bending, our heart opening in camel pose. So you can put a prop between your feet, or you can just reach for your ankles, or just stay here. So start here into the back bend, and then we reach back to our heels and keep lifting up. Center is strong. If you have more space, feet go flat and we reach onto the tops of our feet and lift up. Deep, even breaths here. Keep lifting the sternum. If it's too much with the head back, chin in. Otherwise, get that opening in the throat chakra there. And now chin in, walk yourself back, press your palms down into the mat, round out into a deep cat pose. And come back to neutral spine. Let's swing ourselves around onto our backs. So come down onto your back. We're going to take the right ankle over the left knee. Take a hold of the left thigh. And as you draw that left leg in, you want to make sure that you're pushing your sitting bones away. So we don't drop into that lumbar curve that we just kind of discovered with that support. So drop the hips away, pull, push that right knee away right hip away. Shoulders are relaxed here. If you have to lift your head up off of the mat, then put a support strap underneath your leg. 
and hold on to that. So just starting to soften that right hip down. And let's place the left foot down on the mat, walk it over to the right, swing your hips to the right and twist to the left. Both legs to the left, rock that left shoulder blade out, gaze turns to the right. Deep breath here, pressing that right hip down a little bit. Bring it back to center. Both feet down, left ankle over the right thigh. Take a hold of the right leg and press those hips away, especially that left one. But not so much that you start to tilt the pelvis, right? We wanna keep the pelvis in a neutral position as much as we can. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Even breath. One more breath here. And we place the right foot down, walk it to the left, swing the hips to the left and twist to the right. A left hip pushes away. And we get that right shoulder blade out, gaze to the left. Deep breath. Let's bring it back to center. Make your way into Shavasana. So give your body space. Use your props if you need to. And let the body completely surrender into your mat. Check in with your heart center. Let's connect with the energy that's been lifted in this space, the lightness in the heart space. Soften the whole body, soften the facial muscles. Let go of any deep breathing you may still be engaging. And feel yourself being grounded into the earth, being supported by the earth. Start to move the body, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Take the arms up over the head, reach through the fingertips and toes. Deep stretch here, keeping your eyes closed. Draw the knees into the chest and gently rock back and forth. Make your way to your side into fetus position and with your eyes closed, gently press yourself up to seated in a tall, comfortable position. Resting the palms downward on the thighs, rolling the shoulders up and back. Just check in with your body, your current state. And your breath, the breath flowing in and out through the nostrils. And we're just going to dive into our mindfulness of breathing practice. So recognize the breath as it flows in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. And any sensations that may arise from that action inside of the nostrils, at the entrance to the nostrils, along the bridge of the nose, You can recognize how the breath affects the body as the body moves with breath. Just feeling 
the expansion and the contraction in the abdomen. And what sensations may arise there. Feeling the clothes connecting to the body and then how that moves as you breathe. Or you may choose to note the breath by just recognizing the inhale and exhale. As you breathe in, quietly saying to yourself, I am breathing in. As you breathe out, I am breathing out. And practice your mindfulness of breathing on your own for the next several minutes. Take your palms into prayer. So all of that work in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Draw the chin in. Bow the head forward. And bow down to the divine light that exists within you. Bow down to the deep, unconditional love that resides in this heart space. And remember to move as often as you can throughout your day from this space. Honor the light and love within all beings. And from deep within your heart, send a prayer of peace to the world around you. May all beings experience peace. Take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. And draw the head back to center. Have an amazing remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.
So your journal prompts for today reflect on how doing heart opening poses, right? The practice, the physical practice of heart opening impacts you maybe mentally and emotionally. So how do heart opening postures impact you, your inner well-being? And what shifts do you notice when you do heart opening? Um, your angels for today. Let's see what they are. Number one, acceptance. Number two, flexibility. It's always good after a class. And number three, trust. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you on your mat tomorrow for day 26.